Today I want to talk about leadership and all the lessons that I've learned throughout the trajectory of my career about leadership. Partly because I'm reading a book about leadership and also because I was just sent to leadership camp last week, which was the leadership training for my company. So leadership has been on my mind a lot this week. I have a lot to say about it, but I wanted to start off with the things that I found most enlightening and true about leadership positions. Starting off with the one that surprises me every single time, which is that being in leadership or being a good leader has very little to do with the amount of experience that you have. When you start your career and you're obviously very young, you require the guidance of those with a lot more experience than you to be able to teach you your roles and responsibilities, and in my case, the technical skills. However, as you grow and progress in your career, you start on taking leadership roles where you're required to collaborate with others and lead a team through a task or a project. Finding your leadership skills can happen at any level. You can be a junior engineer trying to get a task done that requires collaborations with the people around you and finding yourself leading people or leading a team with a lot more experience than you simply because you're in responsible charge of getting that task done. This happened quite often to me in my career. And as I continue taking on stretch roles, I started noticing that the experience gap started getting bigger between myself and the team I was leading. This is because leadership and managing have so much more to do than the technical abilities to get something done. It is the ability to work with others, to figure out the goals and set a plan in place while being able to effectively communicate that plan so that everyone can get there together. It is the ability to influence others have them trust you and want to follow you because they trust that you have a plan in place and are able to organize people towards the collective goals. That's what makes you a leader, not the amount of experience that you have in a specific role or industry. The next biggest lesson that I've learned about leadership is that leadership styles are dynamic, meaning that you cannot stick to one specific leadership style for every situation. You have to be able to adjust your leadership style based on the situation that you are in. I have seen amazing leaders, people who have had great success in delivering programs and projects in their past, completely fail because they were not able to adjust to the needs of the current program. So I keep this in mind as I work through my roles. So far, I've definitely failed and learned some major lessons because of my leadership style. Although it's quite dominant and confident, it can come off as easygoing and casual. And depending on the situation, I need to adjust my manner of leading based on the needs of the project. There's definitely projects where my playful manner of managing or leading is just not appropriate. So I continuously pay attention to the needs of the project and adjust my leadership styles for those. Next lesson, striking that balance between being an empathetic and compassionate leader while at the same time being a strong and direct leader. The critical skill that is needed here is emotional intelligence. Being able to understand when you need to stop and listen to your team and when you need to push back. Next, there is a common debate about whether leaders are born or raised. I think leadership can be refined in practice. However, I do think it comes more naturally to some than others. And it is a conscious decision that we make whether we want to lead or not. For example, I know some very influential people who are just natural leaders who do not want the responsibility of being a leader. While at the same time, I know people who want the responsibility, however, they struggle with the skills of being in leadership. For myself, it definitely does not come naturally for me. I had to work through a lot of self-doubt and understanding of human behavior to start feeling comfortable in the leadership roles I was in. I was way more comfortable in the technical leadership roles because those are so well-defined. I knew that we needed to build a specific infrastructure. I knew we needed to put together a plan set so that the infrastructure could be built. I could figure out the exact tasks and resources needed to do that and lead a team through that. It was the strategic leadership roles that I struggle a lot more with. However, the skills that I learned as being a technical leader were definitely transferable as I go into these more strategic roles. And 
I self-educate a lot. I make sure I'm reading a lot on leadership and managing, and I go to trainings. Next lesson. If you work in a technical industry like I do, engineering, technical skills are the threshold qualifications to get into leadership roles. Kind of like you have to know math in order to be an engineer. They are the fundamental skills needed to be in leadership for your specific industry. And that's a little bit hard to hear because you've spent so much time on this degree and so much time on becoming a subject matter expert or a technical expert. But those skills are really just to help you understand the industry and the components of a specific project, i.e. the fundamentals. Now you have to learn the business, the clients, the people, strategic goals, and you have to do it without someone telling you step-by-step step on how to do it, without a supervisor showing you exactly how to do it. Last thing for now, leadership is all about trust. The trust you have in your team, the trust they have in you. It is so important for your team to be able to rely on you and you be able to rely on your team. Being able to successfully deliver anything is based off trust. You can foster this trust through incremental steps of following through with your commitments and vice versa, as well as always being transparent with your team, even with the bad news. Anyways, that's it for now. That's not everything I wanted to say about leadership, but some of it. Please subscribe and like this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.